Hello, my name is Mike Wilmot. I'm a fellow of the Royal Astronomical Society, passionately interested in, in astronomy, and I'm particularly delighted with this new bit of equipment that we've got, which is called Magic Planet, which allows us to um, display the surfaces of planets with much more detail and with much less distortion than you could normally have. I first saw Magic Planet just over three years ago at a Association for Science Education conference and I was really impressed. We always talk in, in education now about awe and wonder and the wow factor and when I saw this running for the first time I was just absolutely amazed with what a superb uh, representation it was of the earth and uh, just how useful it would be to allow children to see the earth, the moon and other planets as well and really see what the surfaces look like. like all very good ideas it's very simple in what it does conceptually but it's the technology and engineering to allow it to do what sounds very simple that is whenever you look at a sphere anything like this the surface of a sphere if you try and represent that on flat on a flat paper flat surface it will always be distorted every map you ever see of the earth is distorted in one way or another the only way to have an undistorted view of the earth is to actually have spherical uh, representation of it which is what this allows us to do so in essence it's impossible to actually create something like this without a certain level of distortion on it the distortion here if I take this to pieces so you can see we're displaying on the inside of a spherical surface that has a level of distortion in order to get this to display like so I actually need the fisheye lens underneath it to be producing an image like that the fisheye lens, you can work out in advance, the same as you can for a spherical surface, exactly how the distortion is going to be spread. So if I remove that one, what we know is that if we can create the world to look like that and put it through a fisheye lens, which then allows the image to go onto a screen like that, we know exactly how each pixel is going to be positioned. Now the smart software here working out for every pixel position that's going to end up on this sphere it works out exactly where does it need to position it so the distortion going through a fisheye lens and the distortion going on the inside of a spherical uh, surface means that the that the pixel eventually ends up on the inside of this surface in exactly the position that we need it to we have actually mapped the curriculum for uh, a dozen other subjects so we can use it in modern foreign languages, so we can look, uh, see how language is spread against time with colonization. Uh, you can use it in history to represent how there was the spread of different things. So you can see, for example, uh, World War. You can see how the different armies were, were strategically moved around the globe. Uh, we use it, obviously, in geography. Uh, but we can use it in other things as well. For example, one of the things where we use it for is in art look at the idea of spherical distortion and how you can use a, a spherical surface to represent something that normally would be on a rectangular surface. Uh, we can use it in technology, we can use it in mathematics and we obviously use it in science as well.